Why does everything have to be an ultimatum? I mean, you're going to put our marriage on the line every time we disagree. This is, this is not an ultimatum. We're, we're not arguing about toothpaste. I feel like you're, you're drawing a, a, a very specific line between me and that, your kids. That is not what I'm doing, Brenda. Okay, well, I'm actually glad to hear that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to know that I, I misunderstood you. Because I felt like you were saying, go play with my kids, but you don't get to have a say in anything that happens with them. And I, I mean, I'm just curious. You know, you might as well tell me right now, what else do I not get to weigh in on? I gotta come back later on. Sonny, give me a call. It's about Michael, okay? No, hold on. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, of course. Okay. If it's about Michael, I wanna hear what's going on. Uh, is that my... Am I supposed to leave? Just talk. We're family, right? So if this has to do with family stuff, it, you, you said, did you not mean that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear it. Okay, so um, you got news on Michael? What's yeah, on? yeah. Good news, though, for a change. We got a suspect in Brandon Lowe's murder. Okay, so uh, Abby's off the hook. Yeah, looks yeah. like it. I mean, uh, we got a murder weapon, we got a taped confession, enough for the DA to drop the charges against her. What about the hit woman? Did she say she was working for her? Yeah, you know, it's looking like that. Yeah, right. But, I mean, the important thing is the pressure's off Michael now. Abby's out of the woods, he's not gonna take any chances and get his life back together. Okay, good. So, uh, great. Uh, thanks for filling me in. Yeah. yeah. I'll uh, check in later on, but uh, yeah, sure. in the meantime, you guys be nice to each other. Bye. <laughs> so hard, right? I mean, you know, it's just been, it's been rough. I don't really know much about what's going on with Michael, and you don't, you haven't really told me much about what's going on with any of your kids, so I just, uh, you know, if we're going to build a real relationship, um, that's going to have to change. I think I'm gonna, um, I don't know, like taking a walk maybe by the way. I want you to know that I do want you in my life. You do? Maybe we should talk about exactly that means because I'm just afraid we might have different opinions. I think we, we can compromise. You do? Mm hmm I mean, we, we both have the right to uh, our opinion, right? And we're not always going to agree. We're not always going to agree on everything, but I think that if you come to me, especially when it, when it has to do with my, my kids, I promise you I'll listen. Because the thing that, that, that gets me is I just don't want you disagreeing with me in front of my kids. I just think they need to see a united front. So, um, I'll do the same for, you know, with Alec and, and if you want. <laughs> you think that's fair? I do think that's fair. Makes a lot of sense to me. You know, I am. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I just, it's just hard for me sometimes, you know, <laughs> to not say something or freak out when I think that you are keeping a lot of things from me. There's, there's going to be, you know, a lot of things I'm not going to, as you know, I'm not going to be able to tell you. It's, you know, as far as business, you're better off. Yeah, but let me ask you something. Does Carly know everything about your business? What does Carly have to do with anything? I, I don't tell her anything well, about my business, you. only when it comes to my kids. Oh, gosh, why do I... I feel like you don't trust me. Is that true? What do you mean? 
I trust you with with my life. And this isn't about my safety. You know, it's about it's about your safety and Alex's safety. The best defense is deniability. That way, if I get busted by the cops, all you got to say is, I don't know anything. No, I could say, I, you could tell me everything and trust me, and I could still say I don't know anything. You know, this this actually should feel different to me, and, and somehow it just doesn't. It what just, I don't know, it just reminds me of all of those times when we were together, and you would just lie right to my face. Listen. You know, you, 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 you never, ever admit to me back then that you were even in the business. Okay, I know it takes a lot of sacrifice to be with me, and I just want you to know how much I love you, and I don't want you to feel angry, shut, shut out at all, okay? Because I, I want to make, I want to make this work, whatever it takes. Well, you know, instead of focusing on, on the things that we disagree on, why don't we just focus on things we agree on, like getting closer together. It'd be good for Alec, right? I love that. Mm. What? You're probably better with him right now than I am. I feel really awkward. I want him to like me. Sounds so stupid, huh? No. Hmm. I'm worried I'm gonna smother him or do something wrong. You gotta spend time with him, that's all, you yeah. know? The more time you spend with him, the more experiences you have, the easier it's gonna get. Tell you what, why don't you take him? To the ferry. The ferry? <laughs> it's it, look, I kid. My kids used to go. They loved it. I got a meeting tomorrow uh, with Bernie in the morning. After that, I can meet you guys there. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, is it a deal? Yes. Okay. Yes. What, what I want you to do, look, you come by, come by the office with Alex, and then from there we'll we'll go. We'll have a great time. Okay. All right. See. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, easy. Slow down, you morons. This has to be done just right. A little further to the right. The other right. Turn her around. Perfect. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Corinthos <laughs> is gonna love this. <laughs>